Well, it's something we don't often talk about, but we all have to deal with. We're talking about medical bills. A recent survey found a majority of people don't even know you can challenge a medical bill or how to go about doing that. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joas explains where to start. It's really important to know your rights because this process is so complicated. First step is to look at your explanation of benefits or your EOB. Does it look right? Did your insurance cover their portion? If you still have doubts, call the person who sent you that bill, whether it be your doctor's office or your insurance company. Ask them for more specific details. Explain where you think the discrepancy is and see if you can get help that way. Next, know that you have a right to appeal. If they still have questions, still aren't sure, still think something's wrong, um, they first of all have a right to appeal anything that is denied or not processed correctly. So any claim that's not um, not paid in the way that they expected to or, or not paid in the way that their insurance plan requires the insurer to pay, they have a right to appeal. That was Sean King with the Office of the Healthcare Advocate. He says your insurance company has an obligation to give it a second look and will have an independent person within the company look at the claim and give another determination. Now, if you're still not satisfied, you can also get an independent review outside of the company. The Office of the Healthcare Advocate has case managers on hand who can walk you through this entire process. Let's call our office. That's why we're here. We're here to, to, to assist and to take that burden off of you as, as a patient, especially if you're going through a time where um, you know, you're not in, in, in the best of health. Another important piece of this is to look up what should be covered and what is considered preventative under state and federal law. And also, at your doctor's office, ask them to request an explanation of benefits prior to getting any major surgery done so you have that estimate of how much you're going to have to pay out of pocket. Jennifer Joas, NBC Connecticut News.